In this quick tutorial, we will be covering breakout rooms in a Zoom session, moving between breakout rooms as the meeting host, and asking the host questions from within a breakout room as a participant. Breakout rooms in Zoom allow a meeting host to break a meeting into smaller subgroups for group-based activities. Participants in a breakout room can only see and hear other participants in their own breakout room and the host can float between the groups to answer questions as the session progresses. At the end of the group work session, the host can then call all participants back to the main room. To create breakout rooms, select the Breakout Rooms button at the bottom of the Zoom window. You can select to either have Zoom break your group up automatically based on the number of rooms you want to create, or manually if you want specific participants to be grouped together. In this instance, we will create two breakout rooms and Zoom will split our participants up automatically. Participants in a breakout room can use voice, video, and chat to communicate with the other participants in their breakout group. I suppose I haven't done that much study about it. Is there anything you can tell us? The meeting host can then join a breakout group by selecting the group from the list. Participants can also summon the meeting host to their breakout group by selecting the Ask for Help button. If a participant asks for help, the host gets a prompt informing them that their help has been requested with a button to join the breakout group. Once the session is over, the host can close the breakout rooms and request that participants rejoin the main room. Participants are given a short time period to wrap up their conversations and a button to click to rejoin the main room. If a participant does not click on the button to rejoin the main group, they are kicked back to the main room after 60 seconds. For more information on Zoom or any other academic technology service, visit at.sfsu.com. Dot edu.